interesting aspect of the synthesizer as a musical instrument, as a historical product, as the intersection, a cultural intersection of different disciplines. And that is for most of the synthesizers modern life, it's been a product. And as such, the people writing about the product are usually the people making the product. And I don't want to be critical because I know a lot of synthesizer makers. In fact, I work for one. But the goal of someone who's making a product is slightly different than the goal of a person who's documenting the history of a musical instrument. And so basically what has happened, because this musical instrument came about in a time of marketing and media, its history is blurry and muddy because of the fact that it's currently been almost entirely written by the people making it and the people who are talking to the people who are making it. In other words, it's not so much a solid history with solid terminology. It's a marketing description put forward by people who promote marketing descriptions. And I don't want to seem critical at all of synthesizer companies or uh, various music journalists, but as a person who's uh, basically a, as a person who is essentially a synthesizer historian, it's really challenging for me to rely on facts of history and terminology because it's also squishy. Nothing is solid in the history of the synthesizer until we codify it, until we say this is what happened or this is what this word means. Okay, so I've also been a person who's been on the internet since 1995. And most of what I've done on the internet is talk about synthesizers. And in that time, I found that synthesizer terminology, if you want to get technical talking about synthesizers, sometimes it's really challenging because the terminology, the descriptive aspects of the history of the synthesizer are basically dependent on groups of people, laymen, talking to each other. Uh, and that leads to a lot of, I mean, language is that way. Different little enclaves of people use different terms in different ways to describe different things. So ultimately, it damages the sort of academic possibility of the history of synthesizers for there to be so much variation in terminology and historical understanding. My goal has typically been thus far to sort of solidify the history of the synthesizer and solidify the terminology of the synthesizer. In, what was it, 2014 or so, I released a meme. Uh, the meaning of meme has actually changed since I released it. Anyway, I released a meme basically trying to solidify the, the term polyphony. Trying to solidify polyphony-related terms so that people had a better understanding. Those people who didn't understand had an understanding. And those people who do understand could be drawn to the categorization that basically I created after having studied the history of synthesizers all of my life. So what it comes down to is wanting to, to take the terms that we use every day or that I use every day and make them have very specific definitions that allow them to be used effectively. And that's a thing that I really love to do. So I created this meme to do that, to describe what, what does polyphony mean? What is polyph polyphony? How does it work? What's duophony or monophony or especially what is paraphonic? Because my gosh, there has been a massive blurring of that term that has happened even in the last four years or so. It's been insane. So my goal in this series is to 
talk about the history of polyphony, solidify the history of polyphony and the history of the synthesizer, and especially to fine tune how we use the term polyphony and the related terms to polyphony. And the best way to do that is to describe the history of polyphony so that we understand what happened in the history of synthesizers that led to polyphony and then we can see how these tools which are words can be used most effectively as a result of this history so this whole series is going to be a description of the history of polyphony so that we can come to an understanding and solidify our understanding of polyphonic synthesizers